Ayan, kamusta? Ay, kwento lang ako konti. This past few weeks or months, mayroon akong mga tinusundan o pinapanood na channel kay Boss Rino. Dito yung channel niya. Uh, ano to siya eh? Mga reaction video na mga nakakatakot na mga videos. Diba? Nakakatakot na mga content. So, mga ilang upload din ni Boss Rino aking, yung sinusundan ko. So, siyempre ako, mahili din ako sa mga mga katakot-takotan ba? <laughs> Kung saan na-excite ka manood din mga ganyan. Kaya nga ako na siguro na nahatak sa mga content ni Boss Rino eh. Kasi talagang ano, gusto kong ganun talaga eh. Mga nakakatakot na mas masarap pag-usapan, mas masarap panoorin. Ganun. So, sa video na to, parang uh, gusto ko din uh, gayahin yung mga content ni Boss Rino. So, marami, marami din siyang mga ano, marami din siyang uh, uh, mga vloggers na sinusundan din. So, ako din, sinusundan ko din yung mga vloggers na yun, ng mga content din na mga katulad din ito, mga nakakatakot ba? Sarap din talaga makutin ang sarili, no? <laughs> Sige. So, sa video na to, uh, sinundan ko yung isang uh, reaction ni Boss Rino. So, ito guys, uh, itry din natin panoorin to uh, para sa mga mahilig akutin yung sarili. So, ito na. So, bali ang uh, ang content na to is galing sa channel ng ano, The Darkest Secret. Yan, maganda yung ano, maganda yung contents nila. Solid din talaga. Uh, as in, uh, matatanggal yung ano, mabalahibo mo sa tako. <laughs> so, ito. Panoorin ito. So, ito yung ano. Ang title nito is 5 Paranormal Events That You Will Not Be Able to Believe O Actually Happen. Ayan. So, ito. Uh, ito, hindi, kapit lang tayo dyan, ha? Sa mga natatakot dyan. Paras lang naman tayo natatakot, eh. Gusto mo uh, magkumot, magkumot ko na kung gabi mo pinapanood to. So, let's go. For hobbies. And it is in the last mentioned that collectors of all kinds have displayed their most precious treasures. That was exactly what the following video was trying to show. A young man displaying his action figure. Displaying... Hmm, daming nang laruan ni, ano, ah, ni Otto, ya. Yeah. <laughs> uh, siguro ito siya, parang mga ano ito, eh. Parang collector's item na mga laruan. So, sige. His action figure collection and asking his audience for ideas for a world of zombie superheroes. However, something happened in the video that not everyone noticed. Something that no matter Ang kulit naman yung Spider-Man, pero ang dami namang kamay. Or how many times I rewind, I still cannot understand. Let's see if you realize for yourself. Go. Zombie na si Spider-Man, ha? Did you notice? Ano yun? May nakita ba kayo guys? Hindi ko napansin eh. No! <laughs> Nabutan ako guys. Kum ano? Kumurap yung ano? Itong babae na ano? Nalaroan? Kumurap siya? Ulitin natin ha? Usang kinalbo yan Uf. I am aware oh. that the Pusang Latest kinalbo. technological advances Have entered the world of toys with force But I find it difficult to believe The way that figure hmm. moves Both hmm. eyes and the eyelids are the hmm. product of a new generation of altered technological toys. That figure is rigid and seems to be made of only one piece. So, how do you explain hmm. this recording? Is it an animation or an edit of this user? Can hmm. an edit be that realistic? Tumutok talaga, no? Tumutok siya sa ano? Sa camera. Stick. Leave your opinion in the comment box. <laughs> Number four. Number four, like, cap it, guys. From Putaendo, a town located in the central area of Chile, Diego Ramirez sent me a strange footage that he recorded himself. As he explains in his email, 
Recently, he had found a job as a security guard at his town's psychiatric hospital. One night, not long ago. Pag mga ganyan kasi no, mga hospital, mga psychiatric, no? Tahimik, paggabi. <laughs> Something unusual happened. The man heard as if someone was trying to open a window inside one of the buildings. Faced with a strange situation, he took out his camera. Hoy! Pusang kinalbo. Ayun nga, ang bata to. Makatok. Ang dalang balahibo ko. Tay tayo dyan. And approached the window as he told the child to go to sleep. The video ended without anything strange until the next morning. Watch the video first. Hola. Uy. ¿Por qué no dormí? ¿Por qué no dormí? ¿Por qué no dormí? ¿Por qué no dormí? As I was saying, for him, the video ended up being normal. Of course, if we think about it, a health facility always has patience. However, our subscriber tells us that his face was completely disfigured when the next morning, after speaking with one of the nurses, she told him that this area of the hospital was practically abandoned due to remodeling work. He was even more terrified when he also learned that this hospital does not receive minors. Only adults were admitted here. Something strange, because he said he saw a child playing in that area for about one week. Do you think it was a hoax? Or did his colleague actually record the presence of a spirit? Let me know what you think. Number three. The following corresponds to an intriguing footage sent by Zamir, a regular subscriber who tells me that one night he began to feel a strong burning smell coming from his neighbor's house. When he went outside to his garden to look, he noticed a large flame coming out of one of the doors of the home. Neighbors called out to alert the homeowners but there was no one there. They were waiting for the firefighters to arrive when he decided to record placing his cell phone between the fence that separates the two houses. Without imagining that his camera would record something impossible. Bata o tao to? Bata ba to? Parang bata, no? Naglakad na, naglakad siya sa apoy? Uy! Pusa! Tumawin, tumawin! Ito na, ano na! Uy! Pusa! Kinal po yan! Lululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululululul
incredible things that for her were impossible to believe. However, on October 8th, everything changed. Because together with a few colleagues in charge of security, they saw an occurrence that, based on their own words, changed their life forever. Bumukas? Ba't bumukas? Kasi kanina bumu- Bumukas lang yan Pag meron siyang Yung sinaswipe niya dito Dito sa may sensor Ay kung switch lang to Para may sensor So yun nga rin Nagbukas siya Kahit Hindi naman ginalaw dito Siyempre si Manong Guard wala pa siyang kaidi idea no? Oh, sanggenal po yan. Hmm. Liliana's mother says that that gate is not automatic. That it does require the manipulation of that guard oh, both to open eh. and close it. What the guard touches is nothing more than something to put keys. It is... Ay, akala ko switch to. Lagayan to ng susi. Ibig sabihin, ito, manual to siya na tinutulak itong makapal na gate na to. Not a switch. So the movement by itself is absolutely incomprehensible. Our subscriber clarifies that the land where the gate is located is flat and that according to the guard, at that moment there was no wind. In her email, Liliana is sure that episodes like this cannot be product of chance and that something completely unknown lives in that place where her mother works. Do you Lakas, think no? they are paranormal activities? Lakas, na ano na yan. Kasi, itulak niya, yung bigat niya niya. Number one. Hmm. We conclude this video with three disturbing images which hide incredible stories of people who say they have immortalized mysterious entities, both in churches and in other sacred temples. The first story corresponds to a testimony given by an employee who carried out reconstruction work in an adjoining shed of an old church. He, along with his companions, always heard shouts from a distance. However, they never gave it any importance. But one night while he was alone, those shouts became frequent. And what's more, little by little, they were becoming clearer and more frightening. Given the proximity of those sounds, he immediately decided to leave there, but not before taking a few pictures with his cell phone in case it captured something abnormal. It was not until the next morning that he was shocked to find this. Only when he saw this image, the man understood how close he was to that strange entity that, according to him, was what all this time uttered those piercing cries. The second testimony is given by a young man who returned home during the early morning hours after attending a party with friends. After saying goodbye to the last of them, he began to walk through the middle of the street because without knowing why, he felt observed. As he walked, that sensation increased exponentially until he passed the front of a church, an instant in which a loud whistle froze his blood. Practically in state of panic, he took out his cell phone and pointed it towards the church where that whistle came from. Afterwards, he began to run without looking back until he reached his home. Once at home, he was afraid of the image he had taken because he did not know 
what he was going to find. A fear that would be backed up when he saw this disturbing image. Madre. Madre. He simply could not believe what his eyes saw because there was a mysterious figure standing at the top of the temple. An image that caused a lot of attention in social networks because the neighbors also claimed to have heard that disturbing whistle. What could be the origin of this enigmatic being? Leave it in the comments. Our third and last story features a Spanish student who along with some college classmates went to the parish church of El Salvador and San Nicolas in Madrid to entrust themselves to St. Joseph of Cupertino to ask for a favorable outcome in their final exams. When leaving, the young man captured an image of the place with his camera without imagining what that photograph would reveal later. Observe. Uy. May lumipad na dun, ah. The student is sure that the figure that is observed at the top corresponds to the image of St. Joseph of Cupertino, a Neapolitan monk born in 1603, and that during his life they attributed him with mystical powers that he even had the ability to levitate, mm. miracles that declared him as a saint of airplane travelers, pilots, people with intellectual disabilities, and of course, students. For many, this is the image of the monk who was present in places where people entrust themselves to him and where he is respected. Could it be that faith in St. Joseph of Cupertino makes his presence visible on the cameras? Could this be achieved by being in a church? Let me know what you think in the comment box because this video has come to an end. My name is Leonor Clay and this Eh guys, thank you so much. Yung grabe no, nakakatakot naman yung five paranormal events. Ikaw, what do you think? Di ba? Maganda din naman yung maganda yung content nila ng uh, Darkest Secret. Marami din tayong ano yun, yun yung mga eh, mga nag-trend din talaga ng mga ano yung mga content. So, ayun guys, thank you so much. Uh, alam ko natakot ka. Siyempre ako natakot din naman. <laughs> Paras tayo. Gusto natin 'to eh. Kaya ayun. Thank you so much sa uh, panonood and uh, see you the next video.